Welcome everyone to Bristol, Tennessee for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Food City 500. This place has been referred to as the world's fastest half mile oval. Add 43 cars to that and you've got a recipe for some exciting racing. I think the old phrase Rubbin's Racing explains exactly what we're going to see in this one. Tight, fast racing with a lot of bumping and banging for position. Just what these NASCAR fans love to see. How about the consistency shown by Kurt Busch? If you finish in the top 10 every week, then the championship becomes an attainable goal. This team wants to get the big money at the end of the year, so they are going to be working even harder to keep up this string of top finishes. The 83 car is going to be a force for the championship with his impressive finishes. It's amazing, isn't it? This guy is finishing in the top 10 week in and week out. That's what makes him hard to beat at the end of the year. The UPS Ford always seems to be near the front at the finish. Man, he is amazing. And what a charge towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top 10 every week. Welcome everyone to race six or uh, eight of thirty six. I'm here at the Bristol Motor Speedway here in Bristol, Tennessee, for the running of the Food City 500. Now the last race at the 
at Darlington at the Carolina Dodgers was 400 was. Eh, it was eh. Um, I get, you saw on the on the intro there. Um, I had I had like five or six rivals with me. And uh, yeah, not not so good. You don't want that, especially at Bristol. But you you see on the starting lineup, I qualified six for today's race. Now, folks, I want to make a quick announcement. Um, I have something. I have another let's play made. Uh, next it will come out next Monday. Next Monday, not this Monday. Next Monday, and it has to do uh, with what that was what I said at how I I'm gonna wait for when it comes out. How I'm gonna wait for it. Yeah, I think you probably know what it is because I keep on talking about it, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean, alright. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so here we go, 50 laps around Thunder Valley here, and the green flag is out. Who will win at the great last great call sim here at Bristol? Kirk Bush leads the first lap. And I'm now in fourth. I made I made a little a rub against Robbie Gordon, and who's right now actually now in sixth. Johnny Benson's under him for fifth. Oh, I washed up big time. Wait, who is that? It's Rusty. Oh, Rusty Wallace, almost seventy percent. There's seventy points as a rival. That's not good. He's gonna rough me up. So right now, Kirk Bush, Ryan Newman, Rusty Wallace, and me, and Johnny Benson. One Ford, two Dodge, two Dodges, one Chevy, and one Pontiac. Oh jeez, yeah, mm-hmm. Gotta lose, get at the wall, of course. And Johnny Benson now under me. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, Gordon. Gordon! Why? Kirk Bush leaves lap five. Here at Bristol, I'm right now back in fifth. I lost two. I lost the spot. Johnny Benson now gonna go underneath Rusty Walls for third. Benson has a nose on him, and Benson will clear Rusty Walls for third. Ryan Newman and Kirk Bush have pulled away between the pa the rest of the field. Last time I played at last time we raced at Bristol was NASCAR 06. I won. It was the Bristol Night Race with the Sharper 500. I won that race, thank goodness. Because I think the, at the Spring Race, I think I finished sixth. I'm not so sure. Jeez, I'm sliding all over the place. Oh, if, if you have folks haven't noticed already, I'm not running the uh, 76 Union pace scheme. Actually, I don't know if I raced this pace scheme at Darlington. I'm not so sure, but if I did, then yeah, it's a Chevrolet. Oh my gosh, the wall again. It's a Chevrolet uh, pace game. I ran this at uh, Infineon, which surprisingly I came in second because of my stupid controller. Now closing in on Johnny Benson. Look at this! Oh! Benson and I make big contact! It was worth it. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. Oh, Benson not underneath me. I'm gonna get the run off, though. And I'm gonna clear Benson for fourth. Rusty Wallace and I are rivals, big rivals. 70, 68 points, my bad. I'm now 2.2 seconds behind uh, Kirk Bush, who is the race leader. As we're, actually, we're now coming up on lap traffic. You see on the map there. We're kind of closing in. Ooh. Got on, got on to, uh... Whoa, ooh, ooh! Okay, okay. Really, Wallace? Really? Oh, alright. Nice. Nice one. You suck, Wallace. You suck. Yeah, we're, you're gonna bump me? You're gonna bump me? I'm just gonna drive away from you. You're old! Just, just get away from me, all right? I'm just gonna go, go to Ryan Newman, your teammate, who is way better than you, and you can just stay there and forth, all right? Just stay there. Just stay there. Thank you. Right front tire is worn. 
3.1 seconds and now behind Kurt Busch. I gained two tenths that lap. Let's see how much I'll gain this time. Uh, 2.6, wow. So I gained 5 tenths of a second. Kirk, actually, the reason why I think Kirk Busch is being slowed down is because Ricky Craven was about to become a lap down. He is uh, slowing Kirk Busch up. That's to allow me and Ryan Newman to catch up to them. Or to him. Lap 18 complete. 1.6 seconds. Kevin Grubb, the first one lap down. He just got passed by uh, Kirk Bush. Oh, my bad, Newman. Actually, I thought that was Craven. Nah, that was Kevin Grubb. My bad. And wow, did I just power drive Ryan Newman. And now, oh, great. Kirk Bush should now get passed by passes Chase Montgomery. If you guys haven't noticed, why would you mean Chase Montgomery? Here's a flashback back in back at the, back at the Rock. Me and him had a little scuffle uh, with each other. Which with each other, he made some pretty big contact. But oh geez, uh, that's settled, you know. All right, let's see underneath Kirk Bush. Underneath, go below the apron, but Kirk Bush gets to run off. He lead this lap, but my front tires are worn. But I'm gonna take the lead for Kirk Bush, new leader. Second lead change of the day of this race at lap 22. And you see Terry Labonte coming in on pit road. Brett Burdine right in front of me. Jeremy Mayfield on pit road. It's going to be a lot more. Mike Bliss. Jer Jimmy McMurray. And that, was, and that wasn't Mike Bliss in the zero car. That was Jack Sprague in the zero car. My bad. Uh, Christian Fittipaldi. Is that Steve Park? Yeah, Steve Park. I'm so good. I mean, like, before, like, uh, you, you, oh, jeez. If you had seen the previews of, uh, like the NASCAR 3 tells the 4, like if, if it's in the games in the game, you know, those type of stuff. You would see Steve Park in the Pennzoil car. And Jeff Green in the um, uh, AOL cars. So I don't know why they switch. I don't know. Eh. But, I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird. And I'm going to pass Jeff Green. Uh, not Jeff Green, Steve Park. As we're now halfway here at the Food City 500. Oh, jeez! And a crash right in front of me, Ken, Ken Schrader. Spins right in front of, I think that was Greg Biffle. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Let's see what happened here. Oh, oh, maybe he was, uh, Ken Schrader was coming out of pit road. And Greg Biffle was already there. Wow. This happens a lot in these Bristol races. I remember, I think it was one with Scott Race or Kyle Busch, I don't remember. Wow. Wow. We have to go on the pit, go to pit road. I actually wanted to go to, actually, yeah, I have to, I have to, um, I have to, um, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, what's it again? Um, yeah, I have to repair my damage. I have to, like, the front of my car is destroyed. Am I the only one on pit road? Don't tell me I'm the only one on pit road. Okay, no, uh, Johnny, I was about to say Scott Riggs, but no, Johnny Benson's in. Ward Burton, Jeff Gordon. I think Ward Burton's in the backstretch. Dale Jr. Yeah, I had to repair damage. And, oh, oh, jeez, oh, whoa. Okay, that was a bit weird. I come out sixth. Alright, that's pretty good, I guess. Six. Six is good. As we go back to Green Flag Racing here, folks. Lap 28 underway here at Bristol. Actually, no, I come out 10th. Oh, uh, not 10th, 11th. Now, oh, jeez, whoa, 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 controller, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, controller? Controller, what are you doing? You just made me get a Robbie Gordon. Oh, I remember Tony Stewart from Darlington. Oh, my gosh. These guys are slow. No, literally, like, they're, they're uh, slowing down way too, uh, too soon and Kyle Petty you literally just almost you were like I thought oh geez what is going on no literally it's like all right all right, all right watch watch this right look it's like look at like that corner I did fine but like when I'm right behind someone it's like I get on the brakes too soon here what okay I, I went on the brakes super early just in case 
Oh, Westy Ross is it's not my biggest rival. Mark Martin underneath him. He's a lap down. Jerry Nadu, I don't think uh, Jerry Nadu is a lap down. Jimmy Johnson, Russell Wallace. So right now, Kurt Busch, who was a leader, um, I think I lap 24, is now in fifth. Can can he can Schrader in six? Oh my bad, Kurt. Not really. Rebodine in fourth. I don't care if I'm. In oh jeez. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's my fault. I don't care if I'm. In How was that? How was that 58? That was just a slight touch. Yeah, I kind of like rubbed, but come on, come on, EA. So one of these drivers is locked down. I think Joe Nemechek is locked down. Yeah, Joe. I think Joe Nemechek is locked down because I remember I lapped him. What? Oh, just Jimmy McMahon. I thought it was Joe uh, Joe Nemechek because right before uh, right before we came to finish the lap, but that was uh, the caution lap. I passed him just before the uh, we crossed the finish line. And oh, another crash! Debris! Made from Chase Montgomery! I saw a, uh, a red uh, a red car come out with red paint, so I thought that was Chase Montgomery. Second caution out on the day as Steve Park leads them to the line. Was it Debris? Yes, yes it was from Chase Montgomery. What came off? Looks like his right side. Yeah, we can skip that. No. And right now, oh, great, of course I'm side by side with Rusty Walls. <laughs> Green flag's back out. Nine to go, Jimmy Johnson. My bad. I had two, my, uh, two rivals right in front of me. Rusty Wallace, my bad. Screw you, Chase Montgomery. Steve Park is your race leader. Not anymore. The bump and run. I give a little nudge. I take the lead from Steve Park. Right now, Jay McMurray and R Ricky Craven are now... Oh, they were side by side, but... Mm. Oh, no! Oh, they crash! Huge crash coming to the start and finish line! Oh, no! Oh, oh my gosh! Ricky Craven was on two wheels. He was even on two wheels. It was just... He was just... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I kind of... I got loose. I want to correct it, but I hit the wall. Wow. Involved, unbelievable! Wow! Oh my God! Just back into my race car. Green flex back out. Four laps to go. Ryan Newman will take the lead for me with four to go. I'm right, sorry, five to go. We're now coming to four to go. Four laps to go here at Bristol. Oh, can I go for my fourth win of the season? Newman has ever won. I give you a little tap. You're not coming at three to go. Stewart in third, Warburton in fourth, and Steve Park in fifth. And caution's out. This might be the race to the line. Race to the win, actually. Here we go. I just blew those of the right Newman coming to the finish line. Could this be it? I think this is. I think this is it. Yeah, that was the back end of my race car that came out. I I think that could have been. I think that was the finish. I think that was the finish. No, is it? Is it? Yes! Woo! I win the Food City 5. Oh my gosh. Okay, really? I win the Food City 5 under here at Bristol Motor Speedway under caution. After I bulldozed into Ryan Newman, a last lap pass for the win. What a race. What a fit. I have to tell you, some of these, these finishes are exciting. Daytona was a great fit race. Uh, the Rock was a great race. Atlanta was an amazing race. Bristol was an amazing race. The finish, man, I thought... I, I, well, I, wanna, I wanted to like give him like a little bump. I didn't want to bull, uh, bulldoze him, but I just figured... That could be the race to the finish, and I I had to, I had to. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do we're gonna um we're gonna do what Alan Kowicki did. We're gonna do a Polish victory lap. Polish victory. We're not gonna we're gonna do it fast though. <laughs> hey.
And we're gonna crash into the wall. Boom. Woo! Let's go to victory lane, shall we? Look at my race car. Th actually, this is normal in Bristol. When you have a car like that, that's normal. <laughs> wow, what the 10th anniversary. Oh, good for you. Fourth win of the season of 2003. Yes, get on top of that race car. Celebrate. Yeah, why do I always have ugly girls in there? Oh, look, look at this girl. You see on the bottom left. That girl's ugly. Ew. Yeah, no, this face, uh, this guy's gonna put his face on my, or his hand on my face. Oh, that's, I like that trophy. One of my favorite trophies, look at that. Oh, yeah, before I announced Cut Them to Tell the Three, the only trophy, the only, there was only two trophies, I think, that you would get. The Daytona one and the, the Winston Cup Championship. Uh, and the rest were, like, just the same trophy says race winner. race winner. Now I like it in this game. That's why I picked this game, because it had different trophies in it. But let's check the race results here. I won the Food Safe Hopper, leading 13 out of the 50 laps. I tied Steve Park uh, in laps led. Ryan Newman is second, leading three, uh, leading two laps. Tony Stewart third, Warburton fourth. Steve Park, great one for him, uh, qualified 38th. Jeff Green, same thing. Start uh, Comes home in sixth, started 37th. Great one for him. And Chase Montgomery. Qualified 39th and came home in seventh. The Major over here, Jeff Gordon eighth, Robert Gordon ninth, and Bob Labonte rounds to the top ten. Kirk Bush led the most often in the race, but he comes home in 13th. Woo! I have to say, that was a fun race. A fun race. Really fun, I have to admit. That was pretty fun. And woo! Whoa, ho, hold up. Um. I already have that. <laughs> no, I already did. I did all of the um, the lightning challenges, uh, and I I think when you complete the rookie, you get a Dale Earnhardt Thunder Play. I already have that, but thank you. Oh, and I'm level two esports gamer. That's even better. On the next race is Texas. Oh, I remember Texas. In NASCAR six, I remember Texas. Oh man. Hopefully it'll be better. It'll be better. I I I have gotten better. Uh, what I always do before a race, uh, what I always do is that I will go and do like a quick race. I go into legend mode, and I would um, I would just pick a random car and I would race against these. See how like how I how I break, how how to pass cars and this and there. And, you know, just to get like a feel for it. You know, I haven't played this game in like one or two years, and why is this memory card still loading? Jeez, you're still loading. Why are you? You're still loading. You are still. There we go. All right, let's check out the standings here. Wow, I'm now a hundred points ahead of Jeff Gordon with Kirk Busch in third, Ryan Newman fourth, Tony Stewart fifth, Michael Waltrip sixth, Ricky Rudd seventh, Warburton eighth, Jimmy Johnson ninth, and Kevin Harvick rounds out top ten. Let's look at the driver respect. <laughs> 380s, 260s, 152, 146, 140, actually no, 240s, uh, oh, four, 438s, 126, 120, and 18. Let's share the awards here at Bristol. Since Kirk Bush led the most laps, I won the Pole Award. He uh, takes home $15,000 with the Gary Frontrunner and Pole Award. Steve Parr picked on the most positions. That's good. He, I think he started 38th and came home 6th. Good for him, J Jay McMurray set the fast of the race. Since I won, I get the uh, rookie of the race, uh, so I get two thousand dollars. And Ken Schrader, I have to admit, when he made that move to try and get in front of Greg Biffle, even though he, even though he was coming on pit road, because Greg Biffle and, and Kenny Schrader were uh, they were uh, like let's say they were next to each other on position. Greg Biffle was in front of him, and Schrader wanted to come down pit road, so he went bloop and. Got him. Uh, no need to check the the rookie of the year, but if you guys want to, here it is. There it is. Uh, here's a look at the polo award. Jeff Gordon has two. Me, Bush, Waltrip, and Martin have one. Yeah, this is my name. It's actually my real name. Um, Chevy in front of four by 13 points, and Pontiac in front of Dodge by nine. And here's a lap champion. I led 60 laps so far this season. Gordon led 31. Bush led 23. Martin led 19. Warden Burton led 14. Park led 3. 13. Walter led 12. Red led 11. And Sadler led 4. And Harvick and Burton led 3. And Newman led 2. 
Well, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this another um, well another race on NASCAR here on NBK NASCAR Racing, you know, the Woodsy Cup Series, really fun race. But next we go to the Lone Star Stay at Texas Mooresboro for the running of the Samsung British Chef 500. Who will two-step to tango to victory in lane? I will see you at the Lone Star State. <laughs>